up YouTube? It is your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you guys could, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. All that does help out the YouTube algorithm and helps boost my video to more and more people. So thank you to every single one of you guys that do that on my videos. And today we are back with another sneaker store review. Today's store is Versus ATL. We are checking out one of their newer locations located right next to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And to join me on this review, I got Pops in the building looking yeah. fly and fresh. So we're gonna go into the store, check out the selection, check out how their staff treats us, check out how the store looks. Also while I'm there, I'm gonna be looking to trade my Yeezy 350 Beluga Reflectives for a pair of LeBron Big Bang uh, LeBron 9s. I've been looking for those. The shoe dropped yesterday. Hopefully they have a pair of my size. Hopefully we can make this deal work. Let's check out Versus ATL. And since my pops is along with us, um, I decided to switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna let him critique it. I'm gonna let him see the pricing, the selection, how the staff treats him. Uh, just sort of a non-sneaker head, get his perspective and his outlook to see what he looks for in a store. So we'll get his rating as well. Let's get into it. This man's over here fixing the hangers, man. <laughs> so that's like Astro World merch. That's Travis Scott merch. Two hundred retail. Retail was like around 70, 80 bucks on that. But that's a Travis Scott merch. I have some of that stuff too. But that's like tour merch. So we got like tour merch here, Travis. Here they got hoodies and jackets. All right, so we're in Versus ATL right now, shopping with my dad. So far, this is the only thing that catches his eye. He said that he really likes this cool gray 11. Um, you see, he likes the 12 too? Oh, I do see it too. He likes the 12. You know, my dad. My dad's a classic guy. You know, he's not he's not all into that new age stuff, like the unions and stuff like that. No, he's not into that, bro. He likes 
You like simple, classic stuff. This is a classy man right here. As you can see, look, any guy, just any like, guy that we wear, this is like a Jordan classy man. man. Just like Jordan is here. Anything else that stands out for you? What do you think about these? You like these? Uh, no, I'm on the edge. Jordan ones. You're not a fan of? No. Damn, but. So yeah, guys, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna actually be able to put in here because there's a lot of music and copyright, all that stuff. So I don't want to get all that stuff. But you know, I like the store. It's a good vibe, especially that vintage section. Gotta come check it out. It's a vintage room. Makes me feel like I'm back in the '90s, back in my own room. I like it. You liking those starfish? Right there, starfish, starfish. <laughs> yeah. So it's a good store. Nice selection, different sizes, Dunks, Jordans, Yeezys. All that stuff. What you think? What you think about the Yeezy slides? Those are hospital slippers. No, those are Yeezy slides. Uh -huh. The price. Uh -huh. What you think? Uh, what you think? So highway, highway robbery or not? Yeah, there's something that will wear. You, you know what the retail is of these? Eighty. Eighty. Two fifty. You want the two fifty? Yeah. Wow. So. I might be leaving the store with a cop. It's gonna be a surprise. We'll go back to the crib. I'll let you all know if I picked up anything, if I sold my Yeezys, if I got my LeBron nines. Make sure to stay tuned. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I am leaving with something and it is fire. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to that. What you, what you think about New Balance coming back? What you think? New Balance, New Balance is in. New Balance is one of the hottest brands. As you can see, look. New Balance, New Balance, New Balance. Going crazy. New Balance? I wasn't too much, too much of a fan of New Balance. I was a Nike. Nike, Nike. What you think about that one? You put yeah. that one there. What you think? You liking that one better than the other ones I had? You was talking crap about them, huh? I was trying to figure out what it was. <laughs> how you put it on. You didn't know how to put it on. Listen, you're trying to smack about it, huh? Make sure to check us out. We're at 323 Nelson Street, right downtown in the heart of Atlanta, right by the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Phillips Arena, buying, selling, trading every single day. Get your vintage, get your streetwear, get your sneakers, get your, get your fitted. Perfect, baby. Got the bag. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Right, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, guys. So we are leaving versus ATL. Bag secured. Oh, let me get the logo. Bag secured. Yeah, you see. We are you leaving. See you see. Versus, versus ATL. Yes, yes. Right, yes. Right, right here in the heart of the eight. Yes, versus sir. Versus ATL Nelson Street. Y'all make sure y'all pull up. Check them out. <laughs> hey, YouTube video will be out on Monday. Man, I got you. Know. I'll tag you. I'll tag you. All right, bro. All right, man. So you know we pulled up, leaving with a bag. Um, very special shoe inside of this bag. Y'all gonna want to stay tuned to see it. Pops, what you think about the store? What you think about the what you think about the store? A, li a nice, little quick, a little nice, recap. Nice looking store. People are friendly. They know what they're selling, and like that vintage room. You like that vintage room? I yeah. knew that vintage room. I knew he was gonna like it. You know, that was basically, that was basically like my childhood growing up. All that stuff in there. Yeah, I almost laid down that bed they had over you there. You almost laid down the bed. Yeah, that was looking like a comfy bed. But listen, you had a good selection, good sizing. Uh, staff was super friendly, let you film, super informative, talking to you. Definitely recommend checking out Versus ATL. We'll get back to the crib and we'll show you what's in the bag. And for the fit check right quick, we're going to go with the Yeezy 700s. You know, the original OG Wave Runners. The trusty, trusty H&M pants. Right here, we got a Uniqlo Billie Eilish tee, but we're not too much worried about the tee because we got that fire, fire Yeezy Gap hoodie. And as you see on top of the dome piece, let it focus on top of the head. We got that NBA Finals, Utah Jazz versus Chicago Bulls, Paxson Mitchell and Ness snapback. That's the overall fit, guys. Let me know. Y'all rocking with it? It's a clean fit or what's up? Let me know down in the comment section down below. All right, guys. And we are back at the crib. And as you guys can see, we're in a little bit of a different outfit because we are the next day. Um, we couldn't film the last part of the video yesterday. Uh, just got too late. And we wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a detailed look and a little bit more of a detailed description. So we waited to today to film this part. So... Here we go. 
So we're going to be going over versus ATL, um, just give it an overall rating, talk a little bit about it, um, and I'll lead it off because uh, this is my dad's first time doing this so he can get a little blueprint, see how I go, and then he can give you guys his rating. So I'm going to rate it off of staff friendliness, uh, selection, uh, selection with quality, uh, pricing, um, overall general vibe of the place. Those are some of my categories I'm going to base it off of. And we'll go first, we'll go based off of pricing and selection and quality. So for selection and quality, um, a lot of the generic stuff, GR stuff, the Dunks, the Jordan um, 6s, the 11s, um, you did have that rare piece here and there. I saw Travis uh, Low Fragments. Um, I saw some Off-White Dunks and a couple other hidden gems in there. But for the most part, pretty general stuff. Yeezys, you'll have all the Yeezy 350s, the slides, and all the foam runners. So they have all of that stuff. And they pretty much have a little bit of a selection uh, with sizing. So um, I saw a couple sizing maybe between 9 to 11 on some options. And then some of the other options were just one size of each shoe. So for friendliness of staff, I'm going to give that an A+. Um, they were talkative, informative, very friendly, very welcoming. Showing us around the store and giving us a little, you know. Tour a tour of everything that, that was dope that they were showing us. Oh, go here, go here, look at this. This is 1985 here, you know, very talkative, very friendly. And just the general vibe of the store, um, they had music playing, lighting was good, area was nice, you know, they had all, the whole front of the store was all windows, glass doors. Um, and the setup of the store had a good flow. You had all the gen most of the sneakers on the left-hand side. Then you had clothing and some more sneakers on the right-hand side. Um, selection, they piece it off by Jordans and Dunks. So they had Dunks on the right-hand side, mainly Jordans and Yeezys on the left-hand side. And my favorite part of the store was the vintage area. So this was something that um, Request Boutique didn't have, was like a true vintage spot. So this spot uh, versus ATL has a whole room dedicated, brings you back to the early 90s, made me feel like I was a child again um, with vintage toys, vintage bedding, vintage um, Nintendo 64, gaming, and then clothing. So I know my dad really liked that, so I'll let him touch a little bit about that because as soon as he saw that spot, he went right in like he was ready. Because on that vintage room, they had the same exact bed sheets on the bed that my son had in his room. Yeah, I noticed that. So they had I that. I noticed that. And uh, I saw Micah, that Micah Jordan, Jordan cut, cut out. out. Yeah. So they had that. And like I said, the and, uh, Nintendo 64 game system. And they had the, like the toys and the plaques and, the toys, and all that stuff. Yeah. So it was dope. So for my overall rating for the store, I'm going to give it a 9.5. And the reason why I'm giving it a 9.5 was because, like I said, the vibe of the store was great. The staff was friendly and knowledgeable. Selection, um, they had a good selection. Not as good as Request Boutique, um, but they had a nice selection. Um, and the way, the one thing that Request Boutique had on um, versus ATL is the selection of more limited items. Request had the, the heat, the most hype stuff, the Yeezys, the Dior's, all of that expensive stuff request had um, versus is more price range items between 250 five 600 bucks without seeing stuff was capping out besides the travis um travis scott lows they were up there but everything else was between 250 to about 550 six range while request had stuff ten thousand fifteen twenty thousand dollars um items so that's why they didn't get a perfect 10 but i did love the store and I did pick up a major steal, but I'm going to let my dad give his rating, and I'll show you the shoe I picked up. Right, as far as rating from 1 to 10, I said 9.4, 9.3. 9.4, 9.3. Figuring that that's my first store. I don't want to give him a 10 yet because I haven't seen a 10. Yeah, and he was looking, and we talked about it a little bit in the store. I mean, outside the store, we talked about it. I was, We were going over the criteria, and he was looking for kind of that wow shoe. Um, like... The vintage room was like a wow moment. I can probably say for him, like he really enjoyed that part of it, that, that aesthetic to it. So I know he liked that, but I know he was looking for that shoe that he turned over that price and he said, $5,000, wow. yeah. that's what he was looking for. So that's just the only thing, but that's okay because you don't have to have that five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 shoe in order to be a good store. I definitely do recommend going by Versus ATL. It is right next to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Um, it's a dope store. Definitely do recommend picking up some items from there. But let me show you the shoe I picked up and why I really appreciated this store. 
So as you see, we got the versus bag. Hey, but who cares? We don't wear that bag. And as you guys see, that's that Kobe logo. That black mamba right there with the Kobe signature black box. So the shoe we are talking about is one of my grails. I've been dying to have this shoe in my collection. And about eight months to about a year ago, I tried buying this shoe on StockX, but there was some stuff on my account, my process, my payment wasn't going through, and I wasn't able to get them. And then, as you guys know, Nike and Kobe ended their deal, so no more Kobe's with Nike. So all of the Kobe's went up to the moon, and now this shoe is sitting at around 850 to 900 bucks. But that's nothing close to what I paid for them. And the specific Kobe we are talking about is the Kobe Grinch 2020. And when I tell you guys the price I paid for this, you guys might not believe me, but I have the proof. $200. Let me see if I get the camera to pick it up. 200 bucks. As soon as I turned this shoe over, I saw, at first, the size tag says 11 and a half. I didn't look on the inside. Um, so I was like, oh, this is my size, it's done, it's coming home with me. When I looked on the inside, it was actually a 10 and a half, so that was an error on their part. But $200, so as soon as I saw that, I went to the counter, I was like, let me try these on, let me see if I can squeeze my foot into them. And luckily for me, I was able to squeeze my foot into them. My dad over here is telling me to cut my toes off um, in order to make it fit, you know, he was giving me some advice, but you know, one thing I was thinking about doing with these is possibly going to another sneaker store and seeing if they have a U size 11 or 11 and a half, seeing if we could trade for that one, because this is in excellent condition. I would give it 8.5, even almost a nine out of 10 condition on this Kobe. So on the Goat app, brand new, this shoe is going for anywhere between 850 to $900. And the cheapest used pair I found was 550 bucks. So that's almost a $350 difference from GOAT to Versus ATL. For that Versus ATL, I'm in forever debted to you guys. I love y'all. I'm rocking with y'all. I will definitely be back in the shop. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And like I said, daily content every single day. I'll be putting out a new video or going live every single day. So make sure to turn post notifications on so you never miss any of my uploads. Make sure to check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Potato Chip. Both of those links will be down in the description box below. And guys, like my previous video was talking about, I will be streaming on Super Peer um, once to twice a week. Make sure to check me out on that site. It's going to be superpeer.com slash TA vlogs. That will be on the top link in the description down below. It's been your boy Tim and my pop stopping by. You know, get it. Do I get paid now? You get paid now? Nah, he don't get paid until I get paid. And then I don't get paid until I get that 1K subscribers, 4,000 watch hours. So make sure y'all show your boy some love. Hit that subscribe button so my Peace. dad could get paid. Oh, so I could get paid, definitely. Peace. <laughs>